Paul Medea from BW1 and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 Technical Preview. Now the way I'm doing the installation is actually I'm using Hyper-V that's built into Windows 8.1 Pro. The Pro Edition will have it built in and I'm using virtualization to basically do this to make it a little bit easier for me. If you guys want me to go over Hyper-V or anything like that and kind of how that works so I can do that in a bit of a separate video because I want to keep this focus basically on Windows 10 here. So I'm already here set up. I already got my virtual machine set up ready to go. We're going to walk through the setup here. So let's start off. Um, we can keep it at English. English. You do, they don't even have. They just have Windows. They didn't have the number ten here just yet. So it's pretty interesting. We can see the build here at the bottom as well too. Nine eight four one. We're gonna go ahead and hit install now. Typical stuff that I remember seeing in the Windows eight installation sort of um, wizard. So nothing new there. And basically, where you're gonna be able to get this technical previews if you join the Windows Insider program, and you can join that by for free just by going to preview windows.com and just signing in with your Microsoft account and you'll be able to download the installation and actually get the uh, key and everything right there. So it's pretty cool. It comes in an ISO file. All right. So we're going to not do an upgrade because we don't have any upgrade form. We're going to do a custom install Windows only advanced and I have it set to 25 gigs. Now I did have this set to 20 gigs earlier and I did it did warn me that they recommend at least 21 gigs of storage to install this so we have it set at 25 here and from this point it's unallocated space we're just gonna hit next and let the installation begin and it should just go right into it all right, Windows files already copied, getting ready for installation. What's interesting about this is this is like the same wizard they've pretty much used since Windows Vista. Everything kind of, they've tweaked some things around, but as far as the installation window and sort of setting up your disks and stuff, it looks pretty much exactly the same since the Windows Vista day. So they've kind of carried on that wizard and it's been a very easy UI to understand. So it's pretty cool there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let this kind of run through and then we'll probably skip on to the next step because this takes a little bit of a little bit of time usually and it's kind of boring just looking at a screen telling you words and percentages so we'll be right back all right that installation actually finished relatively a whole lot faster than expected merely just maybe about a few seconds to maybe maybe about 60 seconds or so right after i uh, kind of paused right there but it's probably because i'm running um in a virtual environment so maybe a little bit faster on the install so that's going to vary based upon if you use physical hardware versus virtual hardware here so when you see this getting ready here you won't you probably won't see this hyper-v thing if you're installing it um not on virtual hardware or through a hyper-v um system you're doing at your physical hardware install you probably won't see that hyper-v there that's just a that's just because of the program that I'm using to, to try out Windows um, Windows 10 technical preview here. So letting this kind of go through and hopefully we should get to the next screen in just a second instead of seeing a boring old blank screen. There we go. All right, let's go through a few basics. So we can go through the settings. We'll leave it at, uh, we'll customize this this time so we can see. You can connect to the network. Is it for home? Is it a public place? Well, home network for us. Update your PC and apps, helps, helps protect your privacy. We, we don't know if this is going to be the final look of the installation, but this is basically what we see here. Check online for solutions, help improve Microsoft products. You can hit next there. We're just going to go through it here. Share info with Microsoft and other services. services. Next, you'll set up your account. And I'll go ahead and sign in here with my Microsoft account. So just give me a second and we'll skip to the next part right after. Okay, so I got my Microsoft account here set up, ready to go. Now, just a quick note, if you use two-step authentication, it is going to ask you that. So make sure you have your phone and stuff ready to authenticate. And now it's going to ask, like it did before, if you if you, if you you set up Windows 8 before and you have it on different PCs, it's going to ask you, well, what do you want you to set up your PC as? You see here I have a lot of PCs that I test. And what do I want to use as far as what what I want the system to be based on. I can use one of these or I can set it up as a new PC instead. I'm um, actually, I, I thought about setting up as a new PC instead, but I'm, I'm curious on this. I'm just going to set it up as a uh, system manufacturer, which a lot of people will want to do. They'll probably want the role settings to sort of come over. So I'm going to see how it handles that. So let's go ahead and click next. It's going to set up my account here. Finalizing your settings. Everything's going pretty fast here, which is a good thing. Getting things fast and set up, nice to see Microsoft. They, they, they definitely increased that in Windows 8, and now we're seeing even faster in Windows 10. And probably my virtual hardware has got a little bit to do with that. But now to setting things up for you, you can get new apps in the App Store, installing your apps, this whole nice little thing here. So hopefully this kind of bypasses quickly here. But if not, we'll go ahead and skip this and head into the, into the uh, Windows 10 um, operating system in just a second here. Looks like this is going to take a little bit of time. 
and boom, here we are in Windows 10 Technical Preview. Pretty um, simple installation is, if, if you can see, um, Technical Preview Build Evaluation Build 9841, as you can see there at the bottom, it brought over my wallpaper as well too, which is pretty cool. And you can see some of the icons have changed. You have that brand new start menu. Yes, people, the start menu is back. Oh, it looks like you still got the same right-click functionality, which is pretty cool. You can bring that over and you can, how useful the live time to start. All right, it's asking a few questions there. You can see all your apps and you can see some of the apps that I can install here. All right, nice, nice, pretty cool. I wanna install eBay, Evernote, Facebook, finance. All right, let's bring up the finance app. Boom, there we go. And you can see now we can use it as a window. We can maximize it, use it as full screen if you want to, bring it down. We can resize it and it will sort of conform to the resizing. All right, that's pretty cool there. Let's see what else we have going on here. Looks like we have a new some new icons as well too. All right, nice. All right, you see this PC, you can see some of the settings here. All right, nice. So you can see that the sides have, have been sort of cut off a little bit here. There's literally like no edges right here on the side, a little different look. Let's, um, actually I could have did it from there, but let's actually Make sure all my PC specs are right. So Windows uh, pause break. Let's bring that up. All right. It has my processor stuff, 66 six RAM I allocated to it. I made it a quad core system when I virtualized it. Uh, Windows is already activated. It gave us a key, but looks like it activated already. So that's pretty cool. All right. Let's see. There's the multi uh, the multitask portion there. And then you have the search. Looks like it searches all around and on the web as well too. So you have uh, Internet Explorer as well too with the new MSN. All right, awesome. So that's pretty much it. I don't want to take too much time with this here because I actually want to get to using Windows 8. This video is really focused on showing you how to install it here and getting things set up and kind of seeing what you kind of kind of come across as you're doing the setup here. So uh, be sure to check out our next video where we kind of go through the technical preview of Windows 10 and really check out and see some of the cool things that they've added here with it. Um, we'll push, your, push any questions below if you have anything you simply want to see, you try, kind of want to see us try or anything like that. If you want me to do a video talking about Hyper-V and sort of how that works, you know, post that below, let me know as well too. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, connect with us on all of our social media, that'd be great, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, and our main website at BW one.com all that all of those links are in the description and always remember to live your tech world in high definition thanks for watching